is a very special metal detecting beginner to beginner. I am Trip Boyer, and today is my friend's birthday over here at uh, the forging plant where I work. He has been uh, watching the series and been wanting to go out metal detecting, so today we're going to do a speed metal detecting. We're going to take him out over to the area. I'm going to let him run the Bounty Hunter Fast Tracker. I'm going to film, and he's going to go on his first metal detecting run. We're going to do it about 20 minutes. We're going to see what we can find. So happy birthday, Go Go. We're going to be out there. Later. And this is Gogo. -Go. This is his first time ever metal detecting. I'm only doing it for fun. <laughs> <laughs> try going over here by the, uh... Yeah. Try it over here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yep. You want to keep it lower to the ground. I know it's not just for you tall people. Hey, look at that. They found shoes so far. I want to keep it more towards the ground. Down towards the ground. There you go. Either, yeah. Over by the grass area. I know we're going to get a hit somewhere. Did you get something? Hit it again. Alright, well, I thought it may have just hit some grass or something. Want me to adjust that for you? If you're hunched over like that, when you want that adjusted? Yeah. Hennessy. Go go got his first hit, yeah. first hit ever. We got a Hennessy cap. That's what I wanted to get something before I went back. There we go into the pocket. Yeah, we can tell everyone that we did Hennessy before I went back to work. I knew, I was a little, uh, I was like a little, uh, let's go back to... Alright, yeah, good idea. One of these days I will get around to doing an episode on instinct. You might be catching the pole. It could be. You're probably right by the pole. Now this one, oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go, go back again. Go back and forth. Okay. Okay, just go back and forth with it. There it is. That sounds like a coin. Now, now look at that. Look through there. You got it sideways. No, I can see it. Yeah, but it's sideways. No, my thumb's on the way. <laughs> okay. We gotta work on the whole filming thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, you're gonna have to move it. I heard something. Now hit that. Hit the top. Can you go back over here? Keep going back forth. Other side. It's right here. Just barely. Just barely. It must be something small. Is that what it is? What it's is that? It's a piece of rusted nail. Oh, a yeah. Piece of rust. Yeah, that's something, uh... That's something exciting, huh? Yeah. Gotta cover our holes, always do your holes back up again. Yeah. Let's and you're gonna do this so you can start talking it correctly. Well, where would you stay over here by the side? Yeah, over here, I'll show you. Put your thing down. There you go. That's one way to find out. Okay, that's cool. Satisfied our curiosity. Go goes going in deep into the brush and into the woods, checking the areas that nobody probably would have thought to ever metal detect. Good thinking. Something that not even an animal would probably go in. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the way it is. That's how it works. Oh, wow. This part is the. Yep. Yep. If you're afraid of this stuff, don't do it. Just gotta think, think, where would people be? Yeah, a bunch of teenagers. A bunch of teenagers out here, with their beers. Watch, watch the language, please. I keep the show G rated. Yeah. 
Is that a hit? No, it's not a hit, but what is that? I don't know. <laughs> it ain't metal, I ain't worried about it. <laughs> yeah. oh. Whoa! Yeah, hit it again. Go back over it. Keep swinging. Keep it low. There we go. Okay, I got you. There we go. See, hold the camera like that. Right, wow, it sounds it's strong. Pretty well, it's strong. It sounds like something pretty well. Way up here, you can smile. I got my gloves, too. Sounds like love. Is that even over here? I don't think it's that. It might be over. It's still in there. It's wow, there. it's still deep in there. That's why I get it. Give me one second. Tripwire and Gogo finding something, and it could be a coin. I hope it's a pirate treasure chest. It could be. It's possible. <laughs> oh, it's going hard, too. Way up here, also. Oh, it's right here. No, I was over to where the hole is. Yeah, it's still there. It's deep. It's deep. Oh, no, it can't be a... It can't be a... Got it. It's a... Uh, something or another. It's like know. a car. Like a toy, man? Oh, cool! Is it a toy? You're right. It's like a little matchbox car, I think. Wow, if you look at the bottom of it, it might have the uh, year it is. You got the thing going? It's a little matchbox car. It's smushed the heck. We'll look at the bottom of it and see if it says 19... Whatever, 19... Uh, let's see. It's definitely a Hot Wheels. They usually put the, the... Oh, yeah, they always got the date on it because it was going off metal. Looks like it's a 1968. Wow. Dude, that's quite... Well, it could have been uh, quite small at one time. It doesn't have wheels on it, does it? No, I don't think so. But you know what? Where there's one, there might be another. Keep going oh, here. I'm just going something right here. Right there. There might be another one. It's on a Maxbox car. Come oh, on, Pirate. Go Go is on top of the game. I think I feel something. Another no, car? No, oh, piece of glass. This is why you wear gloves. We went over this last week. Yeah. This why you always wear gloves. It's like a piece of glass. Yeah, you don't want to get cut. I go through so much gloves, it's crazy. This is all mud. Like I said, this is a speed metal bit. Let me try it again. Yeah, see how close it is. I'll check over on the top, too. Uh, nothing. Just keep back over here. Go over oh, right here. Let's see. Right there. I remember I had my shovel down in there. Try that. Right there. Are you getting it? Well, it's deep down in there. Might have been some kids playing in the 1980s here, unless it's what you're Yeah, it could be. Who else is that? Wait, I am getting something. Hope here. it's not a. I'm finding a lot of cool luckers wire. What? <laughs> underground, uh, Where? underground, uh, secret, uh, you know. Could be a secret cable. Try over here. Oh, yeah, no, you still have still down. Wow. That's what I said. It might have been something from 30 years ago, some kids playing with stuff, and nobody. Just found an old house. The playground's probably always been here. Oh, yeah. For a long time. But we did find a collectible Hot Wheels cover this collectible or not. I don't know, but we did find this. That's it. That's what we were looking for. We what found is that? It's just like a piece of metal? It's like a round metal disc thingy. It's got a little hole up in there. Not exactly sure. Mm. Um, but like I said, a lot of times I just grab it, get a good idea of pocket it, yeah. and then I move on. This is what we're doing now. I gotta fill my hole. Always fill your holes. Oh, Always just heard something it. else. Was that the shovel making that? Yeah, okay. Well, no, yeah. You just had to pick the mud, didn't you? <laughs> you had to pick the mud. I just had a uh, sneaky suspicion. Then we can find those meadows, huh? See, No, I was like, this is the area where I started finding quarters. You can see right here where I found the hole. Yeah, but we don't have to keep standing here in the shade. Yep. Money. Adults, whatever, playing basketball. Yep, this is where I've been finding all my coins in this general area. Nobody comes out here and mows it or anything, so it don't matter. The detector will find it. 
Uh, yeah, you got something all right, big time, like that. Perfect. We didn't have to hang before you walked in. Hey, now. Another deep hole here. There's a lot of stuff that's just. Yeah, not bad. Oh, something in there. Here it is right there. I think I see it. We got ooh. Ooh. Look at that. It's a little piece of jewelry of some sort. Oh, it's only half. Is that a it's only part of it? Is this needs a it's choker a, or a or necklace? Too. Yeah, it was something. It, it's cool. Whatever it is. Yeah, that's a. I'm taking you out here to go off. That's going. That's going in the Bogo house. Oh, wow. Got a Bogo area. Oh, you found one. Can I see that? Well, you found one. Yeah. Whoa, got something else. Right there. Okay, hold that. You know which way to hold it? Come off that down, please. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that thing's going crazy. That's trouble. Okay, still in there. Wow. Yeah, people, all kinds of people standing around this tree, Josh. Aha, uh -huh, here's what we got. We got it. This is it. This is exactly what we've been searching for. Oh, champ. Oh, man. It's a smash can. Smash can. I can't believe somebody would smash that. It's worth 10 cents. Not even. Look at that worm. That's oh, it's still going off. No, because that was oh, a shovel. shovel. Yeah, you love my shovel more than you love oh, That shovel is really making a thing go off. Big time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I wasn't too excited about that crush can. Oh, come on. Oh. That's a coin. I bet you this time it's a coin. This is where I've been finding everything. Hold that. I got it. It sounds like it's silver, but it could be a coin. That's why I'm in trouble. I hope it's a coin. Let me let me check this grass. That's in there. Right there, that's what we want. Oh man, nailed again. What is it? Scrap. Man, I don't want no scrap. <laughs> we look at enough scrap at work. I don't see, that, <laughs> see that crap see that crap out crap scrap outside of uh outside of work. <laughs> that's what I'll shoot part of the intro at. Yeah. Scraps. Okay. Uh, let's see where we're at. Let's see. And we're off. Off and running again. This is what metal detecting beginner to beginner is all about. Oops. Got something. I heard it. I heard it. Did you hate that? Aha. Alright. Alright. I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay, move this right there. Right along the edge here. Let's see. Let's see. It's in there. It is in there, isn't it? There it is. We got. That's it. <laughs> we are not winning today at all. Boy, we'd be good scrappers here, wouldn't we? <laughs> Jump collectors, you know, huh? But this could actually even be brass or copper, so this could be in the retirement fund. Yeah. But anyways, it goes in go go special. Club. That looks like a to an air hose. I, I don't, I don't know if you're having fun or not, but <laughs> the coins are hiding from you. I'm gonna go over by the uh that stands for people. Let's do it. Go go finally found pennies. We got one penny there. And look, I just showed you. Yeah, we got one yeah, it works. See it does get pennies. So it goes go into go go pile. Ooh, one of them's a nice one too, but too bad it's all crap. So we already got two pennies going. Go go special pile. Can you break this in there? No, I ain't I've thought about it many times up now. No, I'm not going through cement. It, w it will detect through cement, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. What? Do that again. Go back and forth. So you're going, uh, try going go faster. Right there. The way I know it is. I think it is right. Right there. Come on, treasure. So I can get out of the Okay, try over here. Go back to Right there. Go back to I'll give you a better 
Rudy on the other side. Go back and forth quickly and just wait. Yeah, it sounds like it's uh, pretty deep. Good. The deeper usually means the older. The older usually means more money, but I'm not going to play around. Yeah, it's a, it's a crap shoot every time. No. I hope it's not under the under the cork here. Right on the edges is usually pretty good. I think it's a lot of school yards. Somebody, uh, somebody wasn't buried under there. Yeah, hopefully with, uh, with, with a bunch of gold necklaces. Me. I hate it, these. I hate what is these. that? This is one of those little lids that they have on top of, like, milk containers. Man. We don't want that. I was up here. I found coins left and right. You're up here. We're finding, uh, scrap. Scrap. Scrap crap. Hey, I tell you. <laughs> I've said it before, and I'll say it a million times. It's not about the money. It's about the fun. I got you going. You don't want to go back to work. Go those quests for the one coin that's not on the concrete. Ever again. Uh, yeah, I have 17 of those in my room. Got some? Maybe not. He may have just bumped something. Yeah, your shoe. Okay, we found our shoe. You know where my shoe is? We're heading over to where the bench is. He's addicted to this bench. If he does not do this bench, he's not going to be happy. Remember, the bench is metal underneath there. Yeah. Is that your alarm? And get back to work before you lose your house. See, that might be. So you put it up against that pole, I'll tell you. That's what, when you hear that sound, it's probably the pole. Whoa, 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 go back, go back. So way back, back, you're going forward. Go over that area. Okay, maybe I heard something. I should have heard Okay, I'll just back. Here. I guess my wife called. How come you're not working? I have cameras on you. She usually doesn't call me when I can hear do that again. Go more towards you. No, go all the way up. Go back and forth. Okay, hold on a second. I think we may have got something. Let me get this real quick. See a line going off. <laughs> I shut this stupid alarm off. Yeah, I don't think we're getting anything that could be. Yeah, it's alright, we'll do this one. Yeah, I Probably a bottle cap of my luck. Yeah. Don't worry about it, guys. Yeah, yeah, we gotta head back. That's still on. It's still on. Yeah, your hands are perfect. My fingers slipped. Metal detecting. Oh, it's accelerating. Didn't find a million dollars. It's the hunt, the anticipation. Aha! Where did you get in here? Aha! So you like using the metal detector? Yeah. Does the metal detector find an entrance? Oh, it's the best way to say happy birthday to Go Go!
Okay, this is the end complete on Trip Player. That's Chemical X. And uh, this is where we got everything for the week that we've been doing. We got stuff that we've done for today. We also got uh, the special that you just got done watching. I thank you all for watching, by the way. So we're just going to go over everything and uh, give you a couple of stories over some of the things that we found this week. And uh, we might as well just start off at the rust and tea section. Uh, just having, again, big rusted pieces. They, they come in handy for something like weights. <laughs> you know, puppies in your pocket. This one actually looks like a clamp now that I look at it a little bit better. It looks like one of those U clamps. You got the square over here, the square screw that goes in, and then the clamps onto there. So, but that is actually a clamp. This is kind of neat. I don't know what it is, but it just looks cool. It was like a two for one day. I, I dug up one, and then right next to it was the other one. This seemed to be the pattern this week. I was playing two of everything every once in a while, like two wheel locks and just two different sizes. Um, found a gear. I don't know what it would have gone to. It was definitely an old rusted out gear. Uh, let's see what else did we find. We got the ultra crap section. And as you can see, I did not find a lot of ultra crap. Yay, it always makes a week good when you don't find a ton of crap stuff. <laughs> but uh, we got our pull tabs. You always got to donate your pull tabs. Uh, bottle caps were kind of boring uh, this week, you know. Everything just seemed to be blank or totally rusted. That's an old rusted crush one. But they've been all blank. None way to look at it. We got two Joneses. We got an Arizona iced tea and a Sobe. I just said that backwards. Uh, Body by Fisher, a little name plate. Uh, let's see. I found some makeup, but I, I highly doubt I'll ever use it. That 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 should just go in the ultra crap section for me. <laughs> found like three zippers. As for the jewelry department, actually I found a little bit of copper. But for the jewelry department, uh, I found a lot of this in Saint Clair Shores. Uh, you have like two buttons. This one's actually gold. This one actually looks kind of cool. It's not real gold, but yeah, I like the way it shines. This here I was hoping was real silver, but it's not. It looks like really cool. I kind of like the design on it. I found uh, one ring, two rings in one day. That's usually kind of odd for me. I normally won't find that. They're definitely just regular play rings, you know. I guess some people call them costume jewelry. So I, I just hold on to them. I like the rings. Found a button. That's pretty cool. And uh, as for the coins over the week, uh, not too bad. Not fantastic. But not too bad. Any coin I get, them, usually very happy with. So I got a handful of pennies over here and got ourselves a couple of nickels. We got a pretty decent slew of dimes and good amount of quarters. I love the quarters. Um, over here we got one of those little penny smash imprint things. That's kind of like a novelty for different places like Cedar Point or Disneyland. Believe it or not, I do collect these. I don't know why. I just think they're cool. This one I don't know about. It was a token week, and I'm not joking. I actually found four tokens this week. I found a Zap Zone. I forgot what this one is. I can barely read it. A Laser Edge. So a Zap Zone, a Laser Edge, and two Chuck E. Cheese tokens. I have never found four tokens in one week. And also what's really cool is I also found a Wheat Penny in fairly good condition. Not the greatest, but I believe it's a 1956 Wheat. So I was very happy about that. And that's probably so far the best point I found for the week. Um... Let's see, uh, last episode I told you that I like to make stuff out of some of the stuff that we find. I had a keychain here, and it said Honda, and it, well, I don't drive a Honda, but I am a Sagittarius. So what I did is I got my hands on some girl glue, just popped it on there, and now I got my own personalized keychain. One of a kind, can't find one anywhere else. So there's something you might want to do with some of the scrap or junk that you find. Get creative with it. As for today, um, yeah, uh, me and Chemical X, we we woke up and we were out the door at like seven o'clock in the morning. And we stopped at Taco Bell and then from there on out, we just totally dominated uh, a couple of parks and schools. So we had a great time this morning. It was a ton of fun. Went over in the Rust and Peace section. We got, uh, of course, Rust. More Rust. And this is kind of interesting. I don't know exactly what it is, but I really that kind of neat. Me and Chemical Life, we were talking about some of these. Just some of the weirdest pieces of metal that we've seen, you know, he calls it like a meteorite, asteroid metal or something. What? Asteroid stone. Asteroid stones. 
And that's why we started calling them asteroid stones. That's kind of neat. Um, ultra crap section. Again, we locked out. Not a lot of ultra crap, which is good. But uh, so it's, uh, Chemical Arts said, screw you. Okay. That's the joke for today. <laughs> <laughs> so we got pull tabs, and of course, I got to separate the one weird pull tab I always find. I always like to keep the bizarre ones separate. I send them over anyways. Um, the bottle caps, we got a fuse. And again, I don't know what the deal is. Blank, blank, blankety, blank, blank. But we got a Pepsi. So that's all that matters. Chemical Arts found a buckle. Cool. Love that one. Cut a key and a little back thing for a, a little button or pin you want to put on. You know, I'm not sure if some of this stuff is jewelry or not, so I'm not really making a jewelry section for today. But we do have the cursed pencil tops. He hates them as much as me, I swear. Uh, I found a guitar pick. I just have no guitar pick. It's going to be one of guitars, but I just have to name pick that up. But yeah, I did, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I did, but I did find some copper. Did find some copper, and uh, we got some pennies over here, and we got like a nickel and some dimes today, a few quarters. Now, one of our first major hits that we hit, well, we got Canadian and a 1967 that actually looks good. One of our first major hits this morning, Sacagawea dollar. That was right next to one of the quarters, mm. right by the swing set. We were so happy with that. Now the part that I hate the most. It is a weak penny. We know it's a weak penny, but it is so done. We cannot make a date heads or tails out of it. So it's it's sad when you finally find a weak. But anyhow, Schneider the advisor told us about this park that we were at today called Rosie Park, and of course he always comes up with some of the best places to go. And Rosie Park was phenomenal. Absolutely, I'm going to get into the fine of the week in one second. But first, YouTube channel of the week is Timely Digger. Y'all get a chance to watch Timely Digger. And thank you, Timely. I get to tell everybody now, Net Geo, National Geographic, is bringing back diggers. So apparently I got some information from the Timely Digger. I thank you much. I'm passing the info along. Looks like Team George and Ringy will be back on the air. They're in post-production. So that's cool. Okay, these are the finds that we found for Gogo on his very first ever birthday metal detecting hunt. Um, it was kind of interesting. We had to do a speed metal hunt because we didn't have that much time, but we found like this uh, long piece of metal. I don't know what it's for. That's kind of neat. Uh, we found, I don't know, it looks like part of a car or something. Or the inside of a lock or I'm not sure what it is. Cool nonetheless. His very first find ever was a Hennessy cap with the glass intact. I'm pretty sure you guys already saw the video, so. Uh, this is neat. A little air gun thing. We actually use these at work a lot. So this might come in handy for me. A little small piece of metal. Have this little, um, I don't even know what it was, a necklace or a brooch or a pin or something like that. I'm not sure, but Kobo found it. He was happy to find it. And here's the car. Here is the car that we found. Uh, here's some information for you all. Hot Wheel cars are collectible, but they have to be somewhere around the uh, late 60s, maybe even some of the 70s, but it has to have like one of these type of steel bottoms to it. But they, they date all the Hot Wheel cars, and that's how you know, like the older the better, but somewhere in the 60s, early 70s, they are collectible. And you can ask Chemical X because he's the one that collects them. <laughs> we found two pennies, which is kind of cool. And Ultra Crap Section. Great. Anyhow, the find of the week. What is the find of the week? Captain. We found a gun. Here's what's up. You want to tell a story? Should I tell a story? Uh, go ahead. All right. Uh, like I said, this morning, Schneider, the advisor, he told us about Rosie Park, so we were about a halfway, half hour, about an hour into the hunt. And we were over by a tree, and we went over, and all of a sudden we got a hit, and I'm like going, ah, it's a bottle cap. He's like, it's a penny. I'm like, ah, it's a bottle cap. And anyhow, uh, we're digging and digging and digging, and then out of nowhere, reached down, pulled it out, and I'm like, oh, my God. And you guys all know me by now. I've never held a real gun in my life. So the, the look on our faces had to be, we were just astounded. 
because we swore to God this was a real gun. Shows you how old it is. Yes, it is so. It's like this. Was, you can tell that this one's definitely from like the late sixties, maybe seventies, due to the fact of the realism of the gun. Whether it has any collectible status, I highly doubt. But I'm not getting rid of it anyways, because like this is one of my pride and joys, like ever. Because me and Tom Gorex, not only did we find it together, we were shocked together when we pulled this out. You're going, what the? And it was kind of funny. Right after that, there was another hit. And I'm like going, you know what? I wonder if there's gold there. Maybe somebody robbed somebody and they dropped the gun into gold. <laughs> Anyhow, so that's no. it. Nope, not, no such luck. But yeah, th this is uh, Metal Detecting Beginner to Beginner. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. We will see you next week. And uh, anything you want to add? No. Bang. Okay, so we thank you all very much for watching. Leave a comment and let us know what you think. Your input is always welcome. Thanks again to Timely Diggers for the info, info on diggers. And that is it. We'll see you next week. Keep the hunt alive. Later. Keep